Hi, Jeremy here with 3D Universe. I wanted to share a fun project with you that I've been working on recently. A friend of mine named Dave approached me a while back. Dave's a big Star Wars fan, and he wanted to do a cosplay outfit dressed up as K2SO, one of the droids from the Star Wars franchise. You can see K2SO in the photo here. The photo is courtesy of Sideshow.com, so if you're interested in a life-size version of this figure, head on over there. As you can see, it's not normal human proportions. The K2SO droid has very long forearms and long legs. He stands about seven and a half feet tall. So Dave planned on using drywall stilts to achieve the height, but he needed some help creating these long arms and mechanical hands. Now he knew of my involvement in the Enable volunteer community making 3D printed prosthetic devices, so he thought I could help with those hands. I in turn approached my friend Ivan Owen, who has a long history of creating cosplay outfits and a lot of them include some very interesting mechanical components like the ones that you see here. Now this particular mechanical hand that you're seeing through an interesting series of events led to Ivan creating the original 3D printable prosthetic design which was made for a boy named Liam in South Africa and you can see that here. He then released that design as open source instead of patenting it and that paved the way for the Enable volunteer community which today has thousands of volunteers around the world making free prosthetic devices for anyone who needs them. So yeah, for this project, I really couldn't have hoped to have anybody better qualified than Ivan, and I was thrilled when he agreed to join us. And what we wanted to do was very similar to this design. We wanted to have arms that were extended out with hands that were operated via cables. So we started with this model for a K2SO hand on Thingiverse that was created by Stormtrooper Guy. Ivan brought this into Autodesk Fusion 360 and remodeled it, uh, making several adjustments, including the position of the thumb, and then building on that adapter at the wrist that connects into a sort of a lazy Susan device, which would allow for rotation of the hand. And here you see a mock-up of the design with the shell built around the arm. Dan Pelland, who recently joined the 3D Universe team, then created this adapter to go with the lazy Susan device. The component at the bottom was 3D modeled in Google SketchUp and 3D printed, while the rest of it was fabricated using aluminum bars and a wooden dowel rod. Here I am 3D printing the palms for the final design. I used tough PLA so they'd be nice and strong. Here's all the finger components as well as the wrist adapters. And there we have the first hand after assembly. Both hands together. And here you can see we're starting to run the lines that allow the fingers to be closed and opened. There's the adapter that we fabricated for the Lazy Susan. And you can see it's starting to come together here. We ended up making several adjustments as we went, but there you can see the final full arm length design. We used a couple of shin guards to attach it to the upper forearm. And here you can see the initial testing of the final assembled device. As you can see, that lazy Susan mechanism allows for rotation with the upper portion of the arm remaining fixed on the forearm mount. And we attach some leather loops to each of the lines running inside the fingers, and that allows you to pull each one in order to bring the finger in. Elastic cables on the outside allow the fingers to automatically return to their extended position when you let go. So there's four pull strings. Because of the way the hand is positioned inside, the operator needs to use four fingers to control the five fingers of the hand. So your index finger operates the thumb, your middle finger operates the index finger, your ring finger operates the middle finger, and then your pinky operates the last two fingers together. Here we are doing some final testing. There's Dave up on his stilts, and all the proportions ended up being just about what we wanted. Dave built the rest of the costume, mostly from EVA foam, painted everything. A friend of his helped him with the helmet, which included LED lights. And here is the final result of our project. This is at C2E2 in Chicago.
Well, we had a lot of fun with this project. I look forward to version two of this design. We've got lots of improvements in mind. I want to thank Dave for including me in this project. You can check out Dave on Instagram at Unbound Geekdom. A big thanks to Ivan Owen for his help with the design and to Dan Pellin for his help with the assembly. Thanks for watching. See you next time.